said I wasn't going to cry. <laughs> Welcome, everyone. Paige, I promise to love you, cherish you, to honor you, to be faithful to you, and I promise to encourage you to be the best person that you possibly can. There is nothing greater in this world than finding the people with whom we feel safe, secure, and most ourselves. We search to find the person most accepting of our flaws, even the ones we try not to show until at least the fifth date. As your wife, I promise to love you in sickness and in health, through the good and the bad. This is the easiest promise I have ever made because vowing to love you was something I decided when we first met. We search to find the person most encouraging of our dreams, even those crazy impulsive ones that never get off the ground. But most of all, we search to find the person who loves us so unconditionally, we simply cannot do anything but believe it and accept it. I don't know, you guys really complement each other well. I've come to see why Jason is truly the perfect match for Paige. They complement each other. Is that it? You said, I said it, I had it in writing. Hey, you guys are a good team and that's what it's about. That she's an extrovert and Jay's an introvert. She likes to cook and Jay likes to eat. <laughs> Roast. <laughs> Where she spends, he saves. What she, what she complicates, he simplifies. When she's frazzled, he's calm, and vice versa. They love each other endlessly and without judgment. I moved to Boston in 2008 for college, and Paige followed me a couple years later. I'll never forget greeting her on the stoop of our Gordon Street apartment in Alston by gifting her a can of pepper spray. I want, what a wave you come. I want to say thank you for making that move, by the way, because now I can never imagine as adults not living in the same city as you. But really, you should also thank me because it was in Boston during one particular night out with Kayla that you met the man you would one day today call your husband. For the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Please seal your marriage and commitment to each other with a first now. kiss as Mr. and Mrs. Jason Farhamad. I love you. I love you too. weeks to spend with my daughter and Jason. I helped them do a lot of work at their house a couple of summers ago. I was up there for seven weeks and I watched this couple together and the friendship and the 
love that I witnessed between the both of them, I've never seen uh, among a couple before. True to each other, and they found friends first, they were friends first, and now they love us, and now they're husband and wife.